put fillets or rounded edges on the sharp pointy angles on this guitar. I'm going to start with the very ends of the neck pocket. I'm going to use a radius of about an eighth of an inch. It doesn't have to be a very large radius. It just needs to be something to break that sharp corner. The next one that I'm going to tackle is this edge here on the armrest where we put this bevel on. So I'll choose that edge, the fillet tool, and I'm going to use a three inch radius here. And you can judge from the preview what you can anticipate. And that seems okay. And then on the back, I'll also do a fillet and I'm going to use a one inch radius. Could go a little bit larger if you wanted to. I wouldn't go any, any bigger than that in that particular application. I'm going to put it back to one. Now I'm going to try to put a rounded edge on the front. And I am going to back off and start with a smaller radius to begin with. And I'm going to turn off the tangent propagation so I have to pick each segment myself. And if this doesn't work the first time, don't lose heart. Give it another try. Right out of the gate. All right, so by working here from the treble side and working around, it took it. When I started on the bass side, it wasn't going to play nicely. So you can see about trying to increase the radius. But when I go to point two, it's not going to do it. So point one nine it is. And then the radius on the back, similarly, I'll try point one nine to match the front. And I'm going to turn off the tangent propagation. I'm going to pick the individual pieces and I'm going to use variable fill it. It gives a little bit of flexibility in how it comes up with this. I do not want these edges to be rounded here. And on previous experiments, if tangent propagation was turned on, it would do just that. So I'm going to pick the individual pieces here. Now it's turned red and it's red here, but I'm, I'm not panicked. I'm going to click this piece and see if it'll resolve it. And it does. And again, I'll click this edge right here and that one right there. And when I click the next piece, it resolves that red one. And most importantly, it's left the edge of this square, which is what we want. So that's rounding edges on the guitar shape with the fillet command.